<laughs> Welcome back. Certainly glad to see you today. I thought today we'd do a painting. It's just, it's a lot of fun, very simple, and I think you'll enjoy it. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this with me at home. While they're doing that, let me show you what I got going up here today. I have my standard old, well, I'm using an 18 by 24 inch canvas, but you use any size that you like. And all I've done is covered the entire canvas with a very, very, let me say it one more time, a very thin coat of liquid clear. Now the clear is on here just to make the canvas wet and slick, and that's really the only reason it's there. Be careful when you're using this clear, because you can't see it up here hardly. It's hard to, it's hard to tell if you have enough, if you have any doubt, because usually you give it, put too much on. If you have any doubt, take a paper towel and wipe it down. What's left will be just right. It's better to have too little than it is to have too much. You just want to make the paint slide on there. Let's have fun today. A little two inch brush. And I'm going to use very, very little color. Pull the smallest little amount, smallest little amount of the blue out here. Little tiny bit of blue. Very small amount. Let's go up in here. Now, very gently, I'm just going to begin applying some color up here in the sky. I want to, let's do a winter scene today. So let's make it very soft and very misty. Oh, one of those winter, tell you what, let's get crazy. Let's get crazy today. Let's have a, uh, maybe a few little buildings down here, like a little farm scene or something. I don't know. I just sort of do it and see what happens. It doesn't matter. Because as you know, in our world, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. It's the only world I live in where there's no mistakes at all. That's what makes it so wonderful. Very little color. Shoot, while I got that going, let's just keep going. Maybe we'll just put a little bit of this blue all over. If we're gonna have a winter scene, then we're gonna need some shadows in our snow. So by applying a little blue down here, we'll use that later on automatically. This will become our shadows. And if worse comes to worse, what the heck, we'll turn it into a nice lake or a pond or whatever we want. Doesn't matter. That's what's so nice about this. You can change your mind right in midstream. Okay, fun time. Fun time. Let's wash the brush. As you know, we wash our brush with odorless paint thinner. Shake it off <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. Now let's go back with titanium white. First of all, the Prussian blue is transparent. It's very transparent. Now I'm gonna go into an opaque color, the titanium white. And it is very opaque, very opaque. Just a little color on here. And let's go up in here and let's just play a little bit. Let's just pick out some areas like this. We want this painting, as I say, to be very soft, very gentle, quiet little painting. I don't want a strong, distinct sky here that, that, that'll be distracting. I want a very gentle, quiet little sky. And so that's what we shall have there. In our world, we can create any illusion that we want. And today, I want softness in our world, tranquility, quiet, peaceful. Shoot, there's too much bad stuff going on. In our world, we're gonna have a very peaceful place. Everybody's happy, even the little creatures. There we are. And that's really, that's really about all I want for this guy. I don't want to do much more than that. Something about like that. And I get to wash the brush again. All right. I really, really just wanted to wash the brush. Shake it off. <laughs> and just raise Kate. You know, they... If you're going to do this at home, I suggest you get a little thing called a brush beater rack. It goes down in a garbage can. Because if you do this in your living room, you're not going to be very popular. I guarantee. I guarantee. All right. Let's go into a little black. Very small amount of blue. But there's very little paint. Very little paint here. And I just want to tap in some little indications, barely touching the canvas. Little indications. Far away. Far away. Almost the same color as the sky. Very light. Far away. Remember that. I keep saying it. 
because it's important. Now you can take this, I'm gonna blend the edges out so it just disappears. Just sort of disappears softly, softly. I don't do a lot of soft paintings on television because they don't show up quite as well, but I thought today we'll do one anyway. There, softly, blending those edges out a little bit so that just sort of disappears. If you want to make this sort of look like it just, I don't know, like it sort of flows, almost like a watercolor, take a, and leave a little more paint thinner on your brush because paint thinner and liquid clear, well, they have a violent reaction. And it'll sort of just grow and it's beautiful. Looks like watercolor. There, something about like that. That's a little background something that's way back there. We don't even care where it's at, far away. Let's have one in the foreground, a little closer to us. We use the same color, only a little more paint, and add the least, least little touch of Van Dyke Brown to it. But there's still not a great deal of paint on the brush. Not a great deal, let's go up in here. Tell you what, let me show you something. I'm gonna take just the least little touch of paint thinner. Remember I told you the paint thinner and liquid clear have a violent reaction. Wipe off all the excess, don't want much. Then we'll just sort of tap all these colors together and right here, let's just begin tapping in some basic little shapes. Very, very basic. There's paint thinner in here. Not a lot. I wiped all of it off as you saw that I could get off, but I didn't beat the brush, so there's still some in here. We'll just put in an indication of all kinds of little things that live up in here. There. All right. What's the old saying? You don't have to be crazy to do this, but it helps. <laughs> Sometimes it does. You really, this is where you enjoy freedom though on canvas. Just let things happen. Let them happen. There. Now this will continue to dilute the paint thinner will continue to dilute the liquid clear and you'll get reactions maybe for several hours. It'll be very slight, but it'll be a little bit different. Let me show you, watch here. You can even take a little paint thinner on the, on the fan brush and flick it. And look at that, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those effects. It makes one of the neatest little nicest things and all you gotta do, see, just flick it. And you can use the knife to flick it, or I'm just using the side of the palette, whatever, doesn't matter. But that'll continue to work. And it looks, once again, it looks like a watercolor. All right, let's put a, another little bush, same colors, just tapping. Each layer gets a little bit darker as it gets closer to us. And maybe in our world, there's one more little tree that lives right here. We don't know. Don't know that we even care at this point in our life. They're just making all kinds of little things and, okay. Yep, there's another one there. Here's one here. Sometimes you can just take and push sideways. Create all kinds of little illusions. Here's another one. And I'll take it and pull it, lift it. See there, pull those, pull those little things out. That paint thinner and clear will continue to work for a while once again. I like these kind of little paintings. They're so soft, so nice. They're very moody little paintings. Yeah, there we are. Okay. And that gives us a fairly good little background. You can enhance that a little, taking a little paint thinner, a little bit of white paint, put a little blue in it too, just to dull it a little. And maybe in our world, maybe there's some little tree trunks that live up through here. Just a few. There we are, see? You can pull it down, you can lift it up, whatever works well for you. A few little things in here. You can actually just take plain paint thinner and do this. It'll lift the paint off the canvas and you can get basically the same effect by just allowing the canvas to show through. There. All kinds of little doers happening. Now we decided early but this was gonna be winter. <laughs> Let's get the bravery test out here. We'll go right into titanium white. Titanium white, let's go up in here. Where's the snow? It's the easiest way there ever was to make snow. There. 
just like that. Maybe it goes right on across. I don't know. Now see, intentionally, I went around this tree. Now it looks like that tree is forward. Does that make any sense? I hope I'm saying that right so you understand. Sometimes I get so excited, I don't say things right. But that's, that's just a neat effect. And it, look at that, it's setting down in the snow right out there. Let's we'll see. We decided we was going to have some buildings out here. Maybe one of the easiest ways that i found to make a building is take the knife and just firmly scrape out a basic shape. It does two things. Most important, it removes excess paint. Secondly, though, it allows you to lay out your buildings. Let's put a shed on this one. What the heck? Maybe that's an old barn with a shed on it. Like that. But you can lay out a whole series of buildings. Maybe there's more than one. Right there. We don't care. Without being committed anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. You're not committed at this point. There. Let's take a little Van Dyke, little dark sienna, and mix it together. Van Dyke and dark sienna. Just use them together. And now we can figure out here where the dark part is, and in my world, I think it's right here. And you don't have to stay in the lines that you scraped out. You can go anywhere you want with this. There are no rules here other than it should make you happy, and whatever works is good. Whatever works. Painting is such an individual thing. Every person who's ever painted has a different opinion of why it works and how it should work. But I believe that it's an individual thing. And if you're happy with your painting, then the world's happy with it. What's the old saying about if you smile, the world smiles with you and all that? Same thing here. We were gonna have a shed here, I forgot. There. Now we can come back, still using a knife, take a little bit of paint. Now maybe, maybe this building here is straight on. Let me get a little more paint there. Straight on toward us. And sort of allow that to break sometime. It makes it look like the snow sort of sliding down. Straight down. Oops, got a little doer hanging off there. There. All right, a little bit more here for the little shed. There he is. Oh, it looks like icicles right there already. Something about like that. And that's quick enough to give us an idea of a little building. We take a little brown, a little white. Mix them together. A little brown, a little white. Oh, that's nice. Don't over mix. Touch. Just pull gently down. Now in my mind, I think this little shed's not going to get as much light, so it's going to be a little darker back here. So I'll make it a little darker so he's pushed back a little more. I think, in my mind, this side of the house will be a little lighter than the front, or the barn, whatever this is. I don't know what it is. Whatever you want it to be. A little more brown in there. This side over here now is very dark in comparison. It's sort of, this is sort of like a three-quarter view. All right. Clean off the knife. Let's use a little edge. And maybe there's a few little windows in here. Just doop, doop. There. See, whole line of little windows so that maybe the cows live in here and they need a place to look out. <laughs> they want to see what's happening out here too. There. We'll put a couple little windows in there. It's your world. You decide what's in there and what's not. As I've mentioned many times before, I sort of make up little stories in my mind. I'm just pulling a little brown through there to make it look like old boards that are living in there. But these little stories, they really help me. I don't know if they'll help you, but I believe they will. Make up little stories about your world. Boy, that's some rough looking snow there. Old snow laying up there. We need some on this other building. There we are, a little bit there. All right. Now sometimes when you have the clear there, this doesn't want to stick too good. If that's the case, add a little liquid white to make your paint a little thinner, then it'll stick. That's all you have to do. And over 
here on this side. Put a little snow out there. A little touch of brown and for the eave or the overhang. Like that. Shoot, we're about to have an old build in there. And I want these to look like they've, they've had a rough life, real rough life. Here we'll take our big brush. A little bit of snow right there. Maybe there's a little shadow in the snow. All we'd have to do is put a little blue in there for that. A little darker blue. All right, over here. Cut that off like that. This side like that. And we're in business. So we have two little buildings out here. bit more of the blue color. I put some blue down here, but it's not as dark as I want it to be. I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'll just add a little more. Because in our world, we can add anything that we want. There. Over in here. You know, a couple of shows ago, I mentioned something about this easel. We have a, we have a brand new easel in this series. And we've been absolutely flooded with requests wanting to know more about it. Uh, what can I tell you? It's, it's a very unique easel. The greatest thing about it is the top comes off and makes a tabletop easel that has four legs. Most tabletop easels have three. When you use a brush this big, you hit it, they fall over. That's always been a problem. So we designed an easel that has four legs for the tabletop. And the nice thing about it, you can order it with just the top. If you just want a tabletop, and maybe later on you decide you want to get serious about it. You can go back and order the bottom, and they go right together. There, and it, it's available, I, I think, in most better art stores across the country. Or right to, If you can't find one, drop me a line. I'll, I'll, find some, I'll find out where they are and let you know. Okay, take a little blue, a little white, mix them together. Maybe in our world, let's put the indication of, hmm, starts out here at nothing. We just let it come around through here. Just maybe there's just the indication of a little path or a road, a little road goes right through like that. Just a little devil. Like that, comes right off the edge of the canvas here. This is just blue and white. Bring a little snow right up to it. Let it just disappear right off the edge. And you don't have to be careful or anything there. You can clean that up with the, when you come back with the snow. You can clean up the edges. You don't have to worry about it. Just enjoy. Just enjoy. There. Because maybe, maybe the wind's blown the snow halfway over this little road. You just can't make out that there's a road there. The old cows in the barn, you got to get up there and take him some hay. All right, don't want the old cow left out. A little touch of the lizard and crimson into the least little touch into the white. And maybe rawr, nice, distinct something right there just to break it up. There we go. A little touch more of that crimson. That gives it a little warm effect. See, it creates a whole other plane there, even in the snow. You know, looking at this, I think, I think this farm's deserted. The more I look at it, the more I think, I think this old farmer abandoned this place. Yeah, all right. Let's take a little of that brown, a little paint thinner, liner brush. Very thin paint, a lot of it on the bristles. Liner brush holds a lot of paint. And maybe in our world, yep. Maybe there's an old fence left here. And we can just do this with a little liner brush. As they go away from you, let them get smaller and closer together. Closer together. There, see? And that'll help create that illusion of distance. Now a little 
Maybe there's a little snow on there. I'll just dip into a little bit of the liquid white, just pure liquid white. And we'll put the indication of a little snow hanging up here on some of these. There. There they are. Got to make those little noises, though, or it just it won't work. Take just the knife, and I'll go through a mm, little bit of brown. Use just the heel of the knife. Go right down. We'll put a little wire on it. And shoom. Just the heel. So let it get wider as it comes forward. There, two strands of wire. That easy. That easy. Wish it was that easy to put wire on your post. Maybe there's a there's another old post up here. I don't know. Some kind of big old post that lives there. A little liquid white. Need a little something hanging on him. Sometimes it's nice to add a little blue to the liquid white. It'll make your snow look colder. Much, much colder. Let's use a one inch brush. I'm going to go into a little white. A little bit of the blue. A little white. A little bit of blue. I want this to be sort of a, oh, a medium blue. In our world, maybe there's a few little bushes that live back here. I'm just looking for a little dark color to make some light show up. So maybe there's a happy bush lives there. Looks like a tree. Maybe, maybe there's another one right in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this gentleman takes care of his yard like I did. And the bushes and the trees are growing up and taking over his farm. Now, another white or another one inch brush, going to liquid white. Now, it's most important how you load this brush. Come right down here, watch here. Pull that brush in one direction. Isn't that a great close up? That is fantastic. Pull that brush in one direction. Load a lot of color in it. Watch, now I'm gonna turn it over. See how it's rounded? You want that rounded corner to go to the top. You can also see right there, we just taped these furrows. I had people write in and they say, how come your brush looks different than mine? We put a little, a little tape on those furrows just to keep them from shining on TV. It's identical to your brush, guarantee. Now, with that nice white color, all you gotta do is just go up here and barely touch. Just barely touch. We'll put a few highlights on these snow covered now. There, over in here. Just a few little things, don't want a lot, just a few, just a few. Now, that brush has got white on it, so it'll work just as well. Come in here, and with that, you can very gently clean up the bottom. Sort of begin bringing all this together, just using white paint. There, pull that out, see there? But isn't that a simple and super little little way to do, maybe like a little farm scene in the winter. Now, if you live someplace where there's a lot of farms, you can look around and, and see the type of farms that are in your area and paint them to match what's, what you're used to seeing. It's up to you. It's really up to you. I just want to show you how to do this. What you do is very individual. All right, something like so. Okay. I think we about got it here. You might take, as I say, this guy didn't keep his grass cut very good. So maybe around here we can put a few little sticks and twigs around some of these posts. They usually grow there because you can't cut close to them. There. Something like that. Let's take a little red, a little paint thinner, thin it down to the consistency, almost the consistency of ink. And let's sign this little rascal right there. Just like so. If your paint's very thin, it'll flow right over the top of this thick paint. That easy. Hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a very, very simple little painting. If you've never painted before, this one you can do. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless, my friend.